be doing six pack workouts and um, so what you're gonna need is you're going to need your mat and your body but before I begin I want to tell you guys something I want to share a special gift with every single one of you guys it is summer it is beautiful it's gorgeous outside well, maybe not today but in overall it is very pretty and I wanted to share with you guys some amazing recipes that I have for you absolutely free all you need to do is you need to go to bodiesbybb.ca and as soon as you get on there, you're gonna get a pop-up that says, come and get 42 delicious fat loss recipes. So, go on my website, bodiesbybb.ca and get your free recipes. They're so delicious, you guys. All right, are we ready for our workout? We're gonna work our six pack. All right, so I need you to lay back. Okay, and we're going to place either our hands behind our head or our hands over top of our shoulders. And I want you to think about pressing your lower back into the mat so you can engage into your transverse abdominal. So it's like bringing your pelvis up, squeezing your butt, and pushing your back into the mat. Are you guys ready? We'll put our hands behind our head or hands above shoulders. And let's go. Very slow movement. Make sure you breathe out as you come up.
lift and squeeze. Think of your side obliques. Simple moves, but challenging. Are you feeling that? Ooh, yeah. How about give me some flames, ladies? Come on. Thumbs up. Woo, body five you need. 10 more seconds. Come on, push, push, push. Nice, sit on the floor, leg cross. Stretch that side body out. Remember, if you want those delicious recipes, go to bodiesbydd.ca, click on the pop-up, and instantly get your recipes. 42 delicious recipes I do myself, in my house, and share with my clients. All right, you guys, we're gonna go to leg flutters. Oh, damn, these ones are killers. We're gonna lay on our back. You're gonna do the best that you can. You must engage in your transverse abdominal. So please push your lower back into the mat. Hands next to your side. Drop your legs. And flutter. Come on. Cross those legs over. Squeeze those inner thighs. If you want more of a challenge, you bring your legs down lower. If that's too much, bring them up higher. This is definitely going to work your core too, okay? It all depends on your flexibility, core strength. Play around with your range of motion. Now we're working the lower core. Come on. Oh my god, are you feeling that? Woo, you might have to play around with the range of motion. I'm just going to lift up a little bit from my lower back. Half another 10 seconds left. I'm gonna go back down low again. Come on, five, four, three, two, one. Bring the knees into the chest. Oh, get that nice stretch into the lower back. Oh, yeah. All right, up we come. Okay, we got a butterfly crunch. So here you're gonna place your legs like a butterfly or like an open book. You're gonna lay down. We're gonna work that upper core again, all right? Hands in front of you, lift, down. Okay, make sure your lower back stays on the floor. So you shouldn't be coming all the way up. It's just a partial movement. Now I want you to think about squeezing your upper core. Think of your ribs going to your hip bone. Don't forget to breathe. Keep your head in alignment with your spine. I'm not head banging here. <laughs> Come on. Woo. Come on, you guys. 15 seconds. Go for that fire. Keep the momentum going. Squeeze that core, five seconds left. All right, arms over above the head, lengthen the legs out. Take a deep arch in your back, rising the ribs to the ceiling, really stretching out that core. All right, what's next? Oh boy, high plank. All right, we're gonna go to a high plank. Modifiers, high plank on your palms. Advance, let's go, on your toes. Squeeze your core, squeeze your glutes. Remember, you want all the weight to be in the center of your body, not just your palms, not your shoulders, not all of your toes. Oh, feels so good. Ooh. Okay, we're gonna go back to obliques. We're gonna do 
can reach over and under. You can stack your knees, or you can take one leg out. I'm gonna take one leg out to show you guys this one. I'm I got thumbs up, some blackness. All right, then bring that hip up again. You're gonna squeeze that glute. You're gonna bring the arm up. You're gonna take that hand, reach underneath, and pull. Let's go. What? Twist and twist. Come on. Not too easy. Stack your legs. Too hard. Bend both knees and stack them up. Come on. Oh, you should really feel that right there. Come on. Nice and strong. Five more seconds. All right, other side. Do you guys feel that? Woo, did I ever feel that? My like, God, I got so much hair. <laughs> you can see my hair dresser. All right, you guys, let's go. Lift. Squeeze your glutes. Let go. Make sure that shoulder is stacked with the elbow. Come on, twist in. Grab and pull. The more movement you get, the more you're going to work your core. Take that hand all the way through the hole, through the other side. Come on, we're almost there. 15 seconds left. Come on, push. Five seconds. Can you feel that fire? Woo! All right, put it down. Okay, sit again. Both arms to the side. Stretch. That'll bleak out. To the side. Stretch it out. Are you guys ready? We're going to go back into a low plank. But this time we're going to do a crawl, so we're going to bring the knees into the elbows. All right, low plank. If you're a modifier, you're going to be on a tabletop, like so, lean forward, and you're going to bring those knees up. All right, everybody else, we're going to go on our toes, core tight. Let's go. Oh, we're challenging everything here. The entire transverse abdominal, obliques. Shoulders, legs, god damn it! Woo! Come on, you guys. Arms over above your head. 
Are you ready? Number two. All right. Let's go. Come on, 17. Feel the burn. Four, 25. Lift the legs up. Stretch it out. Two more sets, you guys. All right, I'm going all the way up. Who's coming with me? Ready? Let's go.